Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a Landtronics uh, Spider KVM. I love these KVMs. You hook them up to your server um, and then you can uh, basically console into them or you go through the web interface and then you can console into like you're sitting in front of that um, computer or server. Uh, like you had the monitor right in front of you. It uses a Java uh, plugin to uh, emulate that. Um, it's very handy, especially if you can't be on site physically at that server and you can completely reload an operating system using this device, um, which is very helpful, especially if the server's in a data center and you can't really get to that location um, or whatever the case might be. You can do it all remotely. So I'm basically going to be showing you how to uh, reset the password. Since I've ran into this issue uh, many times and I don't find a lot of documentation online, uh, so that's why I'm hence why I'm making this video. So this thing comes with um, a couple of cables. One of them is going to be a uh, Cat5e to a serial cable. Um, but if you want to get fancy, they have a new cable that goes from Cat5e to USB for a console cable. So if you don't have the serial port or you, if you have the serial to a USB converter, you can use that as well. But basically you need to have a Windows machine um, boot this. You got to plug in the power USB cable for the Spire so it boots up. Then you need to plug in the Ethernet into the serial end of the device. And then we can um, open up um, PuTTY on our computer. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we have our PuTTY window open. There's going to be a couple things that we're going to want to change here. Usually once it opens, uh, it defaults to SSH connection type. And you're going to want to switch that to serial. When you change it to serial, you're going to see the serial line change. It name is going to change to COM1 and speed 9600. Uh, so that's perfectly fine. So go ahead and hit open now. Once you see this black and white uh, screen, you're going to type in the word reset. Once you hit reset, it's going to ask you uh, yes to confirm. So we type in yes. And then once we confirm, it's going to go through that reset process of setting the factory default. And you can see now it says please wait. So you gotta give it a couple couple seconds here uh, to do its process. But once you get this next okay, after the please wait, then you are good to safely unplug the device after a couple seconds and then plug the device back in. And it's gonna reset that password to uppercase P A ss and then the default username of course is still going to be the sys admin unless you change that but that should be sys admin all lowercase and the password is case sensitive with pass